Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here a comparison, and this is a comparison of three pens. And these are basically made out of a vintage cellulose acetate. And these were typically made for the likes of Waterman, Parker, and Conway Stewart. Now, these are three more modern pens, uh, and these are custom pens, and these were made by John Twiss in the UK from Twiss Pens. But I wanted to, to show a comparison here because this lizard material is really quite stunning. And you can see here that this material is a beautiful material. Now, this lizard pattern here is actually cut in sort of one inch sort of layers and it's then wrapped around a mandrel and shaped into what you see here in this pen. So this is the what I would call the grey pearl version of the um, cellulose acetate material here in the lizard print and then we have the green one which is this one. And again, this is actually quite a nice lizard print that is going on here. And you can maybe see that lizard print a little bit more closer there. Very, very beautiful. And then we have the blue. And the blue is a little bit more darker, but you can see as well that this really has quite a bit of depth and shine and chatoyance going on in these kinds of uh, cellulose acetate material. And it's a material that I really do like, but like most celluloid material, these are unfortunately no longer made. So unfortunately, these were made around the 1920s, 1930s, the actual celluloid. There are still rods of this available, which can be made into pens. And John Twist at Twist Pens has some of this material available. Um, but you'll notice a difference here, a slight difference in the length of these pens. So you have two that are slightly longer, and then you have a slightly shorter one here in this grey one. And if I unscrew, you'll see here it just has a Yovo twist nib. Uh, these are actually cartridge converter pens, so you can see that here as well. But these are actually quite... A nice material but I wanted to really just do a very brief comparison of these so that you could see these as I will be sending these back to the person that loaned these pens to me so again another John Twist Yovo nib on this one and we'll have a look at this one as well another John Twist Yovo nib so these are all cartridge converter pens and you can see there that these really are a nice pen. In terms of the size of my hand, these are actually really quite nice. But I, I like the material. I, it's a material that I've looked at for at least a couple of years when I've been going to the UK pen shows. And I'm always passing John Twiss's table there. And I always stumble across these and think... I really do need a lizard pen, and I don't really like lizards, so I think from that perspective, I don't know what it is about this material, maybe that it just reminds me more of a lot of the more vintage celluloid, so perhaps maybe like the stacked or striped celluloids that you used to get in the 1920s and 1930s, and Unfortunately, it is now illegal to make celluloid in most Western countries around the world because it is highly flammable and uh, very dangerous to to uh, sort of make and cure uh, and turn into a pen. But there are still a lot of celluloid rods available that you can pick up. And just look at the chatoyance on that, that celluloid. I think although a lot of good resins and 
Alumalites can provide some layers of depth and chatoyance. I don't, still don't think you can be a really good celluloid material. So for me, I just love these. And I have to say that I think I might have to pick up a John Twist Lizard pen at some point in the future. But I, I know that if I do pick one up, I'm probably going to want to pick up one in each of these colours. Now, obviously, you do have these in the grey, the blue, the green, and I think I've seen them in the red as well. And maybe there are other colours as well. Uh, I cannot really recall seeing them on his table, but I'm pretty sure there might be some other colours available that you can get. But for me, I, I just love these. I, I think they really are a beautiful pen. Um, they are on the, the thinner side, but I think because of the celluloid more, that because it's a vintage celluloid, a lot of the celluloid rods weren't made necessarily that wide in diameter. So you are looking at effectively a um, fairly narrow pen, and that's unfortunately going to be the way it is. Uh, I don't think you will see a pen that is maybe to the thickness or girth to the level that I personally normally like to write with. And I guess really the the kind of levels that I'm looking at, if I show a Leonardo, would be something along these lines. So you can see that there is actually quite a bit of difference in terms of the sort of thickness of the pen. Now the actual cap finial is actually about the same. Uh, the end cap finial is about the same but you can see here that the diameter of the pen and the body here and also the cap as well is massively massively different. So as much as I would like it in a much wider sort of pen um, or thicker pen I think the issue that we have is always going to be with some of this vintage celluloid, if it's not created in very thick diameter rods, then you might have more issues being able to make it. But I love this material, like I like all vintage celluloid materials, I really do think these are beautiful pens and just look at the, the chatoyance there coming off of my lights. It's just beautiful when it reflects off that pen. I'd say a little bit more maybe than the uh, on the gray one compared to the green one. If I say put these side by side, you'll see that the green really doesn't sort of shine as much as the gray. And then I think, let's have a look at the blue one as well. I think also the blue has a little bit more of a shine uh, compared to the green one, but I still think the gray or the what a lot of people call the pearl is really a much better looking um, contrasty pen I would say in terms of of the the beauty of that that celluloid there so I thought I wanted to really sort of show these in a comparison I've got a review of these of each of these pens but I thought it would be nice before I have to send these back uh, to the the rightful owner that I would take a look and do a quick comparison of these pens. So there you have it. That's the comparison of the John Twist Lizard pens in cellulose acetate from the 1920s to the 1930s. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.